That's my sunspot. There it is. And then this means sticky grenade portion should kill. There it Sunset. is! Oh my god! Will he die to it? Introducing the Phoenix Cradle Exotic Boots for Titan. What these do is these allow the Sun Warrior perk to last twice as long, and allies who pass through your sun spots get the benefits of Sun Warrior as well. For those unaware how Bottom Tree Sunbreaker works, if you damage somebody with any incendiary damage, this could be your grenade, your melee, it could be Polaris Lance, it could be Prometheus Lens, etc. If you damage them with incendiary and pick up the kill, it creates a sun spot. And this sunspot is very useful because it cools down your grenade, melee, and class ability, as well as restoring your health on the initial kill. It also boosts your damage by 20%, which is why I'm using the mountaintop because it has the sticky grenade perk. So you can put sticky grenades on the floor, and when you have some warrior active, it will one-shot people who walk over it. To ensure I have the most amount of sunspots possible, I'm using the exotic Polaris Lance Scout Rifle, which features the perk called the Perfect Fifth. Basically, landing four precision shots loads a incendiary grenade into your gun, and if you shoot it, it will burn people. And if you pick up the kill on that burn, you will create a sunspot. If your opponent burns out naturally to the Polaris Lance incendiary, you would have to shoot like headshot body body for that to happen, and it would create a sunspot. In my opinion, this is like the scout rifle version of the Not Forgotten Hand Cannon because your benefit is hitting consecutive headshots to then body shot combo something that benefits you. In this case, by purposely going for a body shot, you are creating a sunspot. This build gets crazier though, it goes even beyond that. Check this out, I'm going to proc the perfect fifth, my incendiary round, I'm going to shoot it on the floor, and my teammate, who is also a Sunbreaker, is going to pick up the kill and create a Sunspot that both of us can take advantage of. Keep in mind, your teammate has to copy your build exactly and also wear the exotic boots for you both to take advantage of the Sunspot. In other words, the more people who run this build on your team, the better it is because you can all leech each other's incendiary kills to create more Sunspots. Hopefully I've done a good job of explaining the build, but if I didn't and the details are still a bit hazy, then take this gameplay in the background as a overall example to clear it up. Pay extra attention to how I'm shooting people in the face and trying to time my incendiary round to when I'm able to clean it up with my mountaintop. When I do this, it creates a sunspot that me and my teammates can take advantage of, and I am by myself in this gameplay. If I had six people, six of me, running this exact same build, we'd be having sunspots non-stop. And maybe I'll revisit that idea again in like Iron Banner or something for your guys' enjoyment. Let me know in the comments section. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking, enjoy the gameplay, and I will see you in the next one. Actually, hold up, flag on the play. I forgot to mention I am now a NordVPN affiliate, and I have a link in the description of every single video I will ever post from here to the end of time, because having a VPN is almost essential for Destiny 2, because it's peer-to-peer, -peer and people can see your IP address, and if they really dislike you that day, like you were using One-Eyed Mask, Mountaintop, and Recluse, then there's a chance that you probably might get booted offline. You'll get DDoSed. Long story short, this has happened to me. I've had my entire modem fried and been kicked off the internet for hours at a time to the point where I just have to go and get a new modem. It of course happens on my main account just because I'm a YouTube content creator, but it even happens on my alternative accounts when I'm playing comp just because people don't like playing against a better opponent and they think me not playing the game is the best chance of them winning. 
So in conclusion, if you're an avid Destiny player or plan to commit a lot of time to this game, especially if you're a YouTube content creator or streamer, then I highly recommend you invest in a VPN service. It's happened to me so many times where I get booted offline and have my modem fried that I'm done with it and want to supply the biggest middle finger I can, and luckily Nord's got my back by hooking you guys up with this affiliate link. If there's any DDoSers watching this video, remember, you're a loser. And you can change that by just not doing it anymore. We'll forgive you. We'll forget it ever happened. For everyone else, I'd appreciate it if you'd help me on my quest to be extremely petty and get yourself a VPN. You don't have to use a link. Uh, Nord probably wants me to talk about a lot of different things regarding internet privacy and that sort of thing. But no, I just want to be really, really petty because I really dislike DDoSers. Please get yourself a VPN. It doesn't have to be three years, one year, one month, whatever. You can use a link if you want to give me a little bit of pocket change, but really just get yourself a VPN so that these DDoSers can go find a new hobby. In every future video from now on, I won't go into extreme detail about VPNs, but I'll remind you guys at the end that my link is in the description and I might give a VPN fact of the day. Maybe. Just to be cheeky and remind these DDoSers that uh, we're going to use protection now. Thank you guys for watching, thanks for following my stuff, and I'm going to stop talking. You're the best. And that's why we have fire team. again beyond the walls. I would tear out a Vex heart with my teeth. I would sear the Cabal with my burning light, challenge the fallen Kells to personal combat and scatter them. I... I've been watching too many Crucible matches. Only five minutes left.
I love it. Two for one. One after another. Three minutes. What can stop you if you fight together? Nothing. Relax, Guardian. You're scaring them. They'll never want to match with you again. Two for one. Triple down. Fantastic work. Could not ask for a better victory. A single victory doesn't win a war, but it's a start. Good work. <laughs>